Doggy You, and today we're going to be talking about Mammoth Cave, a dog-friendly national park in Kentucky. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to bring you this short video today of one of the national parks that maybe you don't think of when you think about going on an adventure with your dog. Because as we all know, most national parks aren't dog friendly. They usually only allow you to have your dog within like a hundred feet of paved surfaces, which mm, not that fun. Uh, so I wanted to bring you this park today that is all of the hiking is totally dog friendly. That's right, as long as you keep your dog on a six foot leash, you can bring your dog on all surface trails in Mammoth Cave National Park, and it's a really fun place to visit. There's also a really successful and safe way for you to be able to visit all of the cave system that's underneath the park. That's right, 400 miles of cave. It's a really cool national park, and it's one I don't think a lot of people think of. So let's check out how you can go about visiting Mammoth Cave National Park and having a lot of fun with your dog. So let's talk briefly about the trails inside the park. Around the visitor center, there's over seven miles of trails, and this is the trail system that we did when we went into the park. There's lots of cool stuff to see, including river views, sinkholes, a cave-fed spring, cemeteries, a historic train engine, and like different historic entrances that go into Mammoth Cave and Dixon Cave. And we were even able to find a little pathway down to the river to give Whip an opportunity to cool off because it was a pretty hot day there that day. There's about 11 miles of trail total along the south side of the park. And if you want to do some backcountry hiking, there's 60 miles of trail on the north side of the park. So there's plenty of trail for you to explore with your dog. We were there just a week or two ago, so definitely within that whole summer break. And there really wasn't that many people there. Definitely a lot of people on the cave tours, but hiking, it wasn't super crowded, even in the areas just around the visitor center. And we saw maybe one or two dogs the entire time. So it's definitely a spot that you could go and have a really fun time with your dog without it feeling overcrowded. And if you don't want to see anybody, head on over to those trails on the north side, because most of the activity is centered around those cave entrances. One of the other nice features of the park is the wildlife there is relatively benign and you don't have to worry too much about your dog. You mostly are gonna see turkeys, deer, maybe a coyote, but mountain lions and bears, the park ranger said, are only passing through if you do see them. Um, it's much more concentration of deer and turkey, which we saw a ton of those little velociraptors. <laughs> If you're looking for a really fun hike where you can see most of the landmarks that I was talking about earlier, there's a hike that's just under four miles that brings you to a bunch of the different landmarks like Sunset Point and the Old Guide Cemetery and more, and it's right off the visitor center. And what's really cool about that is it's right near, near where the best place to stay with your dog is. So here's the feature that I found most dog friendly about Mammoth Caves, and that's the accommodations. So you can actually rent cabins that are dog friendly. It's a, I think it's a nine or $10 a dog right on the property, essentially across from the visitor center with access to the trails as well as the cave tours. Now, why is that important? Because dogs aren't allowed underground because it's a really sensitive environment and we don't want to damage that with a bunch of dog traffic. So you have the opportunity to leave your dog safely without having to do something, you know, like leaving your dog in the car, which can be unsafe at high temperatures. And it was hot the weekend we were there. So we rented a cabin, not super expensive. I think we booked it like a month or so before. I'm not sure what their availability would be like at like high, high summer type time. Um, but it was a great little cabin, had everything we needed, kind of like glamping sort of thing. It had a bathroom, woo! <laughs> <laughs> and it also had um, a sink, like a little sink, and we rented a two-bedroom cabin because my sister was with me, and it was perfect for leaving wet. Pro tip, make sure that you bring a fan and a crate for your dog, especially if your dog is an alarm barker, um, because you're going to want to leave the windows open in that cabin, and your dog is just going to sit on the bed and bark at the other dogs walking by. So if, if your dog is kind of a vocal dog uh, in general. So we have our crate because we travel with the dog in the crate. Put that right into the cabin and then brought our Ryobi fans, which we love. I will link that down below because those fans are invaluable for traveling with your dog and for humans when it's hot. So we set her up in our crate. 
with her fan and felt really safe locking her in the cabin while we went down uh, into the cave system. And what a cave system it is. I've been to a lot of caves all over the country, but this one is so grand and so epic. It's so worth a visit. They have your traditional like Niagara room that we did a tour with that has all of those stalactites and stalagmites and like those beautiful formations. But the majority of the cave is actually these wide open caverns that are just beautiful and cool and so vast and very much worth the tour. We took two tours while we were there. We took the historic tour, which was excellent, as well as the Niagara tour, which was more of like your traditional cave tour. If we had been there for longer, I'd actually like to go back and take some of the longer tours that involve some splunking, uh, cause it was just, it was more cool than I thought it was gonna be. What can I say? The tours are awesome. I really enjoyed the historic tour where they were talking about, you know, when they first started going down there with group tours and the women and the men would dress up in their like fanciest outfits and then they would find like hoop skirts and shoes and canes littering the cave as people started discarding them as they climbed over all of the boulders and rocks that exist in that cave. So it was just a really good time. I highly recommend it. And finally, there were also ranger-led programs, and the ranger-led programs were also dog-friendly. They do two programs during the day and one longer program at an amphitheater at night. We went to one of the daytime programs where we had our own ranger who was able to answer all of our questions and they pick a topic and talk about it, and Whip was able to hang out at my feet uh, and be with us during that. So really the only thing your dog can't go to in Mammoth Caves National Parks is the actual cave for good reasons, so that the dogs don't damage this really, really cool ecosystem underground. Overall, I have to say this is one of my favorite national parks that I've been to, and I think I'm up to about 25 or 30 uh, on my list of national parks that I'm trying to in my lifetime see all of them. But this one for dogs is specifically awesome. They create the opportunity to have the dog friendly accommodations on site so that you can go off on your own to explore the caves while also allowing them on all of the trails that are above ground. I mean, what more can you ask for? So if you guys are looking for a fun destination this summer to go to with your furry friend, check out Mammoth Cave National Park. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Put your questions in the comments below. Tell me what parks you visited with your dogs, whether they're dog friendly or not, because we've been to a lot that are both dog friendly and not dog friendly. And if you're interested in joining the Doggy U community, check out our Patreon page down below. We do a live Q&A every month, answer your training questions, and do a ton of bonus content. You guys have an awesome day. Thanks for watching and happy training. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Subscribe now and never miss an episode. Whip, do you think it's hot here? Blink if you think it's hot. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I know. I'd be uncontrollably blinking. How's the fan? Good?